Then let's explain the value of the integration between BigFix and Curator. Here I'm in the BigFix console and I have just uh, two systems here in my lab. One is this very vulnerable <laughs> Windows 7 machine with 343 things to fix and the actual server where the big fix is installed has a bunch of things to be fixed. Multiply this in a real case of hundreds of servers and thousands of desktop and this becomes a daunting task of you know what to prioritize. Some of these fixes may break some things so they might not may, they may still have not been patched maybe because something else is, is uh, broken and the fixes are left behind. So big fix has a uh, actually a bidirectional communication with Curator. Here we are seeing data being sent from Curator to BigFix in which we see the CVE from a network scanner that was used on the BigFix side, on the uh, Curator side to scan the network. The, the vulnerability manager component of Curator knows about it and this is the risk score which is actually the CVSS in this particular case. But again I have no mechanism of prioritizing so th this alone doesn't seem to be like a big value. But let me show you. In this demonstration, here's the, the, the network diagram that we have. This is the vulnerable Windows machine system. This is the big fix server that we were out. And here we have Curator with QBM and Risk Manager. What we're going to be doing is actually show you one of the examples in which we can enhance the information that we pass to big fix. This Windows 7 with all those vulnerabilities that we saw before is going to be under attack from this external machine, Kali, going through our XGS that is our IPS here in the uh, demilitarized zone that is in simulated blocking. So what it's going to do is actually going to let the attack pass because again it is simulated blocking. When it sees a particular type of uh, attack on a vulnerability coming, a SQL injection traffic coming, uh, cross-site scripting, uh, OLE uh, uh, attempt of exploitation, remote code, whatever. It's going to actually alert via the logs to, uh, to Curator. It's going to say, hey Curator, I think that there's something bad actually coming here. But is this really bad? Well, if Curator, who is, a, who is aware of the vulnerabilities that exist, see that that specific vulnerability attacks, that specific attack attacks that specific vulnerability, it's actually going to do several things. One, it's going to fire an offense and it's going to let us know about it. And we will see this in the demo. But second, it's going to increase the risk score of that vulnerability so when it's actually sent later into BigFix, in BigFix you will see that this particular vulnerability is under attack and you should do something about it. So what we see is that uh, this is the original view that we had uh, from, from BigFix in which all the vulnerabilities have the basic risk score. We don't know how to prioritize. But as soon as the information is sent to BigFix from Curator, we'll see that these two vulnerabilities that are under exploitation are going to get the risk score actually increase. It's, it's, uh, it used to be 8.1 and now it's going to be 16.2 and we'll see how we actually implement this. But the idea is to alert BigFix, say, hey, take a, take, take, give priority to these vulnerabilities because they are under attack. And this is not a potential theory, theoretical attack. This is something in which Curator correlated the fact that the endpoint is vulnerable and, and this specific type of attack, he connected the dots and say, this is under exploitation. Let's go into the Curator console to see what Curator knows about this uh, Windows 7 machine. So I'm in the vulnerability tab of QVM and here we see the all the vulnerabilities that exist for this uh, Windows 7 machine, that's the address of the machine. Actually, if, if we sort the the vulnerabilities by risk score, we see that the highest vulnerability that we have here is a 10, which is the maximum possible. And no wonder is uh, many of them are actually uh, Oracle one. We go here into the offense tab just to show that we don't have we clear have clear all the offenses. We don't, we don't have anyone uh, right here, and we're going to go into the log activity and leave the logs uh, uh, playing here. Next, I'm going to show you here in the uh, attacker's machine, on the Kali machine, the trap that I said is a phishing attempt. The minute that this machine goes into uh, uh, a link that points to this particular address in here, his machine is going to be mine and the attack is going to succeed. But 
the XGS is going to take notice of it and it's going to send the logs uh, to Curator. So this is the Kali machine and I have the trap set up uh, so the minute that anyone goes on port 80 uh, uh, to this address, which is the address of the Kali machine, the, the, the uh, vulnerable machine will get exploited. And here we are in uh, the Windows 7 uh, vulnerable machine and we launch a browser and we go to that specific URL and that's it. That's all I needed to do. Click on the wrong place and this machine is compromised. I can do with the machine whatever I want. But that's not the point uh, in here. The point is that the attack has been noticed by the XGS. And we see here that the XGS forwarded the logs to Curator. Curator noticed that. And we got uh, this particular offense that is actually by default. And there's going to be a subsequent video that shows the details of it. But this is a, a rule that comes with Curator. Uh, with it, it connected the nature of the attack with the vulnerability that existed and fired that particular offense. And here in the offenses tab, we see that we got the, the, the offense firing. So the, the, the SOC operator has been uh, notified immediately about this happening. But what Curator is also doing, going here to the risk manager portion, to show you a simple rule that I put in here that basically is activated when the, uh, the element is susceptible to vulnerabilities contained in this safe search. And this is this safe search, actually with a typo even, uh, is a search that I created which basically looks into the data structure where Curator puts the machines that, are, that have been exploited. And what we are doing, the interesting part in here is that we have in, in, in this policy, what we have set this up is to say, well, whenever you have this policy being uh, evaluated, increase, double, the risk score of that vulnerability because it's under attack. And once that policy gets evaluated, we're going to see this risk score, you know, that 10 was the maximum, to be increased because we're going to be doubling that vulnerability that was under, ex under exploitation. So let's wait until the policy gets actually evaluated. Oh, there it is. It, that was quick. So now we see that that particular only attack, and, and this one, uh, the, the vulnerability, is, uh, the CV attack is uh, 2014 is under attack, and we have uh, increased uh, uh, its risk score. We have actually doubled that risk score. And whenever a, a risk score is actually evaluated, what uh, the integration with BigFig does is that it out updates that information and gets automatically sent uh, to the Big Fix console. Another thing we can do is actually while we wait for that vulnerability to actually uh, happen, is that, well, you may wonder, say, well, this data is from the previous network scan that you did, but has this been already, has this been already fixed in Big Fix? Well, we don't have to wonder. What we can actually do is right click and we have this integration with Big Fix, which allows us in real time to query uh, big fix for the vulnerabilities. So here are all the vulnerabilities that that endpoint has. There are way too many as we uh, saw before. But we're going to search by that one that we see that has been exploited 2014-6332 and sure thing it's there. So this is not fictitious. Real attack under a vulnerable machine. This is big. And we'll see that the big fix console will reflect that severity in the integration console. So what we expect to see in the in the big fit console once this information is sent to curator is that instead of having all the vulnerabilities, you know, between one and ten, we're gonna have the top one being uh, bring here to the top, and the score that we'll see is actually 16.2, with double the 8.1 that was before on these two two specific vulnerabilities. And actually, we're gonna patch it, patch them right away because these are these are important ones. And here we are in the Big Fix console that shows the interface that is called Manage Vulnerable Computers that shows the interface with the data being sent from Curator and we see these two vulnerabilities. Well, actually, let's go ahead and start patching them right away. So all I need to do is select the one that, I, that I'm interested in fixing. And Big Fix already know that that is actually in the Microsoft parlance is MS 14... 
whatever 64 so we go ahead and say go ahead and fix that take default action on that Windows 7 machine and click OK and we will soon see that that is going to be fixed we can see that the patch has actually been downloaded and it's been put here in the as a, the big fix server that has as the cache so you don't have to download it each and every time so it's actually in the process of downloading that and we see that the patch is applied and just uh, the machine waiting for a pending restart so let's actually go and see and take a look from the curator side again I just rebooted the Win7 machine to make sure that the, uh, pat the patch gets fully applied and we actually see that it's been big fix immediately picks that up and say this is fixed but if you are in the curator side and you don't have access and not, not you need access to the big fix console you can actually go into the big fix patch which is the interface that we used before with uh, right clicking on the IP address and we actually go there and now we're going to query for uh, 2014 six three three two and we see that it's not there. Why? Because it's actually been uh, patched and fixed. This is not a problem anymore. We quickly dealt with it.